So what happened? What'd you get? I got a new machine. So this is it right here, the brother saying it's at your side. So she went and got it. I don't think I've seen you grinning this much since like our wedding day. <laughs> right? Agreed. Okay, well, let's get this thing inside and uh, I guess we're going to start assembly, huh? Yes, please. Anything you want to say to your seemingly surprising crew? Uh, let's go do this. So we took it out of the box uh, from outside because it's just easier to maneuver and it's actually easier to carry. It's not, this Juki is heavier than this for sure, but it's not as wide. If you leave it in the box, it's much wider. So it's, you know, more difficult to get, you know, into doors and around corners and whatnot. So I highly recommend taking it out of the box uh, to bring it into the home. So guys, here it is. This is the table. There's the brother embroidery machine right there. So we got to get that unit on top of this assembled table. And we will definitely point out the difficult uh, areas, if there's any difficult areas of assembly. And we'll just take you through the assembly as best as we can. And Ira, it's gonna go right here, right? In this area here, this little section? Yep. Oh, you got a power outlet right there? Oh, yep. look at That's that. Perfect. All right, so let me show you guys something real quick that I thought Ira might be excited about. Uh, well, it's cause I'm excited about it. I mean, look at this job here, look at that. Look at this, right? All threading. Let's see what Ira has to say about this. Can your machine do this? Do that kind of material? Yeah. Look at that beast. That feels great too. Look at that. Is there a cushion or is it just really just a bunch of layers? It's just whatever? really dense, yeah. That, that's nice, right? Oh, I could do this. So they just digitize that their logo and mm -hmm. the, the people. So this is called a satin stitch. So all it is is they just, it's just really close together. So it's bam, 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 yeah, bam. Yeah, but it gives it a nice 3D feel and look. That'd be cool if you start getting work like that, huh? Yeah, I mean, they <laughs> Okay, so just starting off, this is pretty awesome. It's just one paper here to do the assembly. Steps one through 10, so 10 steps. It's pretty easy. Cool. So we're gonna go ahead and get all this assembled and then we'll get the embroidery machine on top and put it at the level that she desires it to be because this is adjustable in height, correct? Correct. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I get to use my new Milwaukee quarter inch hex drill driver or impact driver sorry so i will put a link to that also in the video because i know you, you know people out there watching it's a good little tool for even like women to have but you need something to assemble stuff it's a nice small little compact one you can use yeah and i'll put the link to the unboxing video and it's 89 dollars right now at home depot so right now we're looking at step one here a plus b plus c plus e four pieces so it looks like we're getting these four panels in place basically, which is these four squared panels here. So let's go ahead and get those together and then show you the outcome after it's assembled and then just kind of show you what I did. If there's any steps that you need to kind of pay attention to or that maybe aren't covered in the directions, I'll share that with you in the uh, video after I have assembled these four pieces together. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so right now, this is just sitting with no bolts uh, in place. It's just sitting here. We just got the panels correctly lined up. But you'll know you have it all lined up correctly because the holes line up with the threaded holes in every single location there. And then just remember the bottom has to have the threaded holes for both the leveling posts and the casters. So get that all lined up and then you screw it down with these bolts here. These are size 10. The size 10 head so just get all this screwed down here with these bolts and i'm again going to use my m12 impact gun to get this done um <clears throat> as long as you get the size 10 inch bolts in every location that you need to get them basically steps one two and three are done um, you just have to get these four panels completely screwed together with the bolts that they provide. And again, just remember, just make sure you get all the holes that they're showing you in the um, directions here. So that way you don't have any missing screws or bolts that are not holding the unit together, therefore compromising the structure. So 
Just make sure, so right here basically on these side panels is definitely six bolts as you can see. And the front and back is going to have four. And, and I'll show you here the other side. So you have the other four here, front and back, and then six more here on the side. So that's what, 12? Let's say so you have 20 bolts to get the main structure together. And it's nice and solid. It definitely has a good weight too. So for step four here, I'm going to turn it on uh, its top so the bottom is facing me. And we're going to get these two rails and get the casters in place and the leveling posts in place as well. So it's going to be these two metal beams here. And then the leveling posts and the casting caster wheels or casters. Two of them have a uh, brake pads there, brake uh, capabilities, and two do not. So we'll go ahead and get these in place and then I'll cover anything that might be uh, not commonly known or maybe out of place. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys the outcome here of the first side where I did the casters and then the leveling uh, posts here. These guys are in place securely. You bring this down. This is the way you want them. You want the casters on the inside and then the outside with the adjustment posts. But this channel piece here, this metal piece, keeps the wheels and the um, leveling posts is what keeps it on to the main body of the desk. So let's go ahead and do the other side and we'll do a time lapse for y'all. Okay, so something to keep in mind, as you can see here, you can only screw the uh, adjusting posts here so far down past the panel. So just keep in mind, once it stops, it's as far as you can go. But it's definitely below the height of the wheel, so you can move it around. But just wanted to point that out in case you hit a stopping point and don't know that. Okay, so here it has a few uh, icons or illustrations of what's correct and what's incorrect. So just make sure there's no gap between the brace or the bracket and the uh, frame of the table here. So for example, just like that, make sure there is no space here, no gap, right? And if there is, it's going to be on the inside. I don't know if you can see it, but basically have it be on the inside. The gap is here, not on the front. And then here it's showing on this one, as you can see, Make sure there's no gap between the caster and the base of the table. So again, just make sure it's like that. No gaps, make sure it's all the way down, tightened down. And they even included a 19, size 19 and size 21 uh, in the hardware packaging. So the caster uses the 21 size and then the leveling post uses the 19 size. So you make sure you get it all nice and tight and then the last one is just showing you don't let any gap be between the nut here and the base. So you, you screw this all the way down and get this nut nice and tight against the base of the table. So make sure you get all those correctly done. And the next step now is getting uh, these four arms, four black arms in place here uh, facing upward. And so we're going to go ahead and do that into the same bolts. It is these four arms here. One, two three, four. So we'll go ahead and get those up. And as you can see, the side that slants down is facing downward. And we should have the holes already there for us pre-drilled. And we do. So you can make it as high as you want. Basically, that's the adjustable part there. That's where you adjust it is with these arms. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we'll show you the outcome or I'll video anything that may be out of the ordinary or abnormal. All right, back to the assembly. So we got the four arms in place, the four black bars in place. And like I was saying, the slant that goes inward here, make sure it's facing down. And then on the inside, you can see it's just two bolts here for each corner right there. And this is the height that I'm putting it on. Oops, sorry. Let's see why. Yeah, so two more bolts there and there. And make sure you put the bolts from the inside, screwing them outward because this is where the threading is here. So you can see that there. So make sure you get two bolts on each arm. Oh, and then I only hand tighten them so they're loose because what you want to do is have some play when we get this tabletop up here. So that way we can adjust everything and then you tighten everything down after you get the tabletop on and in the place exactly where you want it. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're in step six. Yeah, that's exactly it. We're gonna get the tabletop where we want it and then we're gonna bolt it down. 
uh, just the way it needs to be. But something very important here to get, I would get, there's two bolts that you gotta put in here to hold the table. Put the inward one in first on all four and lightly tighten it. Don't, don't uh, tighten it down completely. And I highly recommend getting one of these flex extensions here. I'll include that in the link in the description below as well. But a flex extension will help you get inside there much easier than trying to force yourself, you know. You can get in there just like that and tighten that down. So a tool that helps, a flex extension bit, a six inch, an eight incher should be just fine. All right, everyone, I tightened down all the bolts for the four arms, the two here on the inside. There's four bolts there. We tightened down the four, uh, eight bolts around the top of the arms here that hold the tabletop in place. And everything is nice and secure. Tabletop's good to go. This thing rolls smoothly. The casters are wonderful. So let's go down, or let's go to the next step, which is now going to be, uh, we, did, we just did step seven. And I use my impact gun. You can use your wrench if you want to tighten it down, but I use my impact gun. We're going on to step eight. These two metal brackets, we're gonna get those in place. Oh, this is what, this is what you use apparently to keep the brother machine and these uh this is the footing cut out here the four and then these are the two locations here where it looks like we're gonna put this uh one here in the front right corner and one in the left back corner all right so let's get these two brackets in place two bolts one keeps it in place the other one that keeps it uh, to be able to spin it in and out so let's go ahead and do that and i'll show you the end result okay so we just completed step eight here or again, remember one bracket's in the back right and the other one's in the front left there. So you can see it from a distance, one in the back right, one in the front left. Make sure you have it in this orientation here because this is what actually holds the leg in place. You can adjust it easily, but so that kind of just locks it in place and you can screw it down, just hand tighten it and this guy won't come out. Basically it just keeps the machine in place. So you can see that there, nice and secure. And then if you ever need to move it for whatever reason, you just do that and open it up and it'll release it. So same thing with this one. So this is the locked position or wherever it's gonna, the leg is gonna stop it. And then this is the unlocked position here. All right, so those are good to go. Let's go on to step nine here where we're gonna get this tower uh, bracket in place. And it's already pre-assembled with the side one here. This piece here, it's already attached. So we just need to attach this to the table, which it looks like you can put it either on the left or the right side. It has a location for two. What side do you want it on? Okay, so we just uh, verified this is the hat hoop. This is for the hat hoop. And the orientation, the proper orientation is to have it where the rectangular uh, tube is facing outward. And you'll know that because the holes line up just fine all the way around. So let's go ahead and get this guy bolted down. We got four more bolts, I'm sure, and it might be exactly four more. And it is, so these should be the last four bolts, yes. Because after that, yeah, this is step 10. So we'll finish it and then I'll show you the final part. All right, everyone, the brother table is complete. We have the hat hoop holder here on the right. We securely tighten that down. And again, that flex bit or that extension flex bit is very useful even for this because you can see it's very tight fit here. So if you have that flex uh, extension there, you can screw it down easier. And then these guys just fall into place and you just place them wherever you want. We just space them out evenly, but it is good to go. We can actually get that brother machine up on here whenever she's ready, but we're going to put it in its proper location and then they tell us to uh, loosen these and let them hit the ground to give a more stable um, foundation for the table while you're working so we'll drop those down after we get in this proper place and so once you're done you should have no bolts remaining all right so zero bolts they didn't include any extras and then we just have the wrench and these four parts, which I guess there's some kind of hooks to hold material. 
So we'll get to those later, but let's put this in its place. All right, here we are. The machine is on the table. Everything is in place and it's good to go. This thing is pretty awesome. You got all your, uh, you got your SD slot here, your USB, your mouse USB and your computer connection. So it can swivel all kinds of ways. When you're working on your hats here, you got your screen here. When you're working on the uh, embroidery, you got your screen here. And then you got your stylus too, which goes right up here at the top. Packets are for right here. You see they can go forward and it just locks onto one of the legs here. So the back right and the front left have this bracket. And then I just uh, slightly tighten it down so it doesn't turn easily. So you're good to go. And for those who are wondering, uh, you could put the hat deal on the left side if you want. I guess it depends on, or what is the left side for? There's three parts to it. There's the cylinder that you put there on that edge. Okay. And then you put the cap frame on there. Okay. And that's where you hoop it and you can push it and align it. And then you can take off just the frame and leave the cylinder there. And then it goes into the machine because you don't want to try and or organize it while it's already under the needles. Okay. Glad you're so, so passionate about it. So <clears throat> I already lifted this uh, arm up. It was parallel with this guy, these guys here. So all you do is lift it up. Uh, if it is too tight, just unloosen or just loosen up the screw here on this side. And this allows it to drop and rise up. So, and then once you get it up, standing straight up and down, just tighten it. And now to get these bars parallel or completely level here, we got to uh, loosen up these screws here on either side. So we got one here and one there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now these are uh, tightened completely and nice and flush and level and parallel to where the uh, thread spools will be sitting and they go through here and Ira will set all that up for you guys to show you how it's set up. Okay, so to get these uh, thread spools in place, you just loosen this guy up and the base can slide out and that way it lines up with the metal bar above it. And then just tighten it down and you're good to go. Next, she's actually gonna turn this brother machine on. So let's go ahead and do that, Ira. All right, let's see. I think she's ready to turn this thing on. You want me to turn it? You can turn it. Hey, there it goes. There's the on button. Right oh, there. that's why you turned it. Got it. Yeah. Oh, oh, noises. <gasps> Red, bad. No, it oh, always says that. Blue, not like those old sci-fi movies. Please put a drop of oil onto the hook once a day before use. Oh. Is that all it said? What it said under yeah. different language? Oh. Large built-in yeah. display. We can come this way now. My, oh. Exquisite built-in designs. Oh, so this already drop got designs for you. That's where you put the drop of oil? Yeah. Oh. Select your language, English. Oh my gosh, Terminator. Set the clock, okay. It is 2020. Should we film all this? Yeah. That's like the coolest part. Nine. Nineteen. The you day. Do long press. See if that does it. Yeah, I don't want to go too far though. Nine. Sixteen. Ah. Ah. Let's see if they lied to us or not. <laughs> lied to you about what? How much time it has on it? Cause I'm one of them people's. See here. Yep. Zero. Zero, 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 zero. Look at that, folks. Brand new. Ooh. All right. What else? Uh, thread sensor. My new color sequence on. Link off. Don't have a mouse. Millimeters. So let's do inch because... That's what we do. I'm an inch. Mm -hmm. Screen brightness. Oh, that's cool. It's plugged in, so might as well have it bright. I'll do three. I don't want to burn my eyes out. Oh. Okay. I mean, I don't want that either. Oh. Um, I don't know what all this is. PS thread code? Sure. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Yeah, let's leave white. Okay. Thumbnail background color. Yeah. Of course, yeah, you're purple. Of course, yes, yes, yes. It's a pretty one. 
Oh, back there? Nah, we don't want to do nothing back there. We'll look at it later. See, so now it's already reading that we're going to put the cap frame on. Cool. On that right there? Okay, well, so we're we putting it on? Or you first, oil it first, yeah, I got to oil it first. I'm trying to remember where the oiling was. It's colors. Whoa, there's a screensaver. Eco mode, shut off support mode. Opening screen, LED pointer. I can't turn that on or off? Okay, cool. Oh, I can adjust this light. Oh, nice. That's four. Machine speaker volume. That's cool. One. Yeah, one so is a little light. beep. Here, maybe? Oily. Haha. Uh -huh. Hand will rotate automatically to a position where it can easily be oiled. Keep your hands, etc., away from the hand wheel. No. Okay. And it moved. Put a drop of oil onto the hook. Keep your hands, etc., away from the hand wheel and the hook after oiling. Then press OK and the hand wheel hook will return. Okay, so just right here. So you just, you just pull this and back and oil. down. Pretty sure I have to and cut this. Put some oil. There we go. Oh, okay, so it's telling me right here I'm done. So it so wants me to oil right, right here. Sorry, I'm trying to see. I'm assuming right here. Is that a drop? <laughs> oh my god, that was not a drop, y'all. That was not a drop. Mayday. Mayday. <laughs> okay. So she hit okay. That's all I have to oil? Okay. That's it. Okay. So, then we can put this bad boy on. To get it in place. Oh yeah, then it has the screws. Nice. It's like very precise though. Like you That's awesome. It's the way it should be. And so yeah, as you guys can see, she's got to slide those in the notches there. And it'll you know, all be tightened down into place. She's gonna get that other side there. That's crooked. Uh, Boom. Okay. Look at that, it's nice and level too. It all lines up beautifully. Okay, so that's it, huh? For that piece. Yeah, and then I gotta put these. What are those, Shaz? I think they go here. They're just the things. Oh, okay. Pretty sure they go and here. And it locks them in place there. Okay, yeah. nice. So it doesn't come off. Sweet. That looks correct. Beautiful. Sorry, I'm remembering as I go. This is my first time. So there's Tight. four of those, right? Two on top, yeah. two on bottom. So then what we're untightening is this here. Is there two on each side or what? There's four. Yeah. Two, two on, on each side. side. Yeah. On. Anyway, two on each side. Okay. And what? Why There's are you two different sizes that? too. So. Okay. This so one goes to the other cap there. Okay. So I'm loosening this, so this piece will move. Oh. See how okay. it moves. It this is my little bit. spacer. Okay. So I can't remember which way it goes, but I don't think it really matters. Oh, the rubber spacer goes in yeah. there? And then you tighten it down again? Yeah, and it tells me. So I'm pretty even. And then I tighten it back. And that's, and that's how it. high up it needs to be. Oh, that's the spacer for yeah. standard space. Okay. And I'm just hand tightening it. I'm going to over tighten it, but I want them to go back to snug where they were. And then the last thing, I remember when you're always using your cap one, this is not garbage. This is your spacer. That's not garbage. All right. And that's it? I mean, I know you got, you're going to yep. put the thread in and all that, but as far as the initial so setup. Then, yeah, what I was looking at was, oh, was this, because then this now goes on. And now your hat's supposed to be on there already. You slide this bad boy in. And that's what that Here. spacer was for, to help it get exactly where it needs to be. Wow. And now this is where so, it yeah, see, it's, threads. It's embroidering here. All right, so these four brackets that come in, you just hook on the side. Either side, you can put left or right side to hold, I don't know what, hats, I guess. Okay, so to get the stabilizers here, just loosen up this top bolt here. Loosen up that top bolt a little bit and then you can screw this downward and remember to use the wrench that they provide and just do that to all four 
Just enough to where you feel the pressure going into the ground and that way you stabilize the machine. Okay, so your bobbin, so you wanna tie the weight to the end of your bobbin string and then you wanna put your bobbin against something flat and smooth, uh, preferably like this with the weight attached at the end here. So you're gonna attach the weight. I'm not gonna redo that because my bobbin's already perfect tension. I'm gonna snap that back in, but I have the string still attached to this. So the way that you use this weight, this only works for pre-wound bobbins. If you have metal bobbins that you're winding yourself, there's an additional weight that needs to be on it. But for pre-wound bobbins, it's just this one that comes with it. And your, it's this is, pretend this is your bobbin, this is the weight. If it holds it like this and it's not moving, it's too tight. <laughs> and then obviously if it does this, it's too loose. So you want it to be at a tension. So you just loosen the screw until it gets to a point where it's just slowly letting it go, something like that. And it's just slowly dropping at an even pace. And that will give you perfect bobbin tension according to the manual. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, and so Ira is gonna go through all these other things here and she will make a video on putting everything in its place or we'll try to. And, um, so we'll probably have a part two. But I just wanted to show you guys the main assembly. Just how you get this table and the machine in place and boot it up and then she'll do all the threading and get all the pieces and uh, auxiliary parts and attachments in place but that's pretty much the main setup thanks for watching we appreciate you guys tuning in